This year's IBC coverage is brought to you by... Hi, welcome to IBC 2024. I'm here at the Asus Pro Art stand and I'm going to give you a quick run through of the stand so if you're at home you can kind of get a feel for what it's like to be here at the Rye this year. So um, first of all, if you look behind me, we've got the PQ07, which is a micro LED display. That's 135 inches, that display, and it's not just a normal, normal monitor, it's actually a modular monitor that's put together like a full virtual production LED stage solution. Um, that's where they're hosting lots of master talk sessions. I'm doing mine shortly. Uh, so every day, two, three, four people will talk about how uh, they're using Asus Pro equipment in their professional lives. Now, a recent professional project I worked on at the ARRI stage in London with WPP Group, um, we actually use these monitors. So I wanted to start here on this DIT card. We've got two of the PA24 US monitors. They're, they've got true 10-bit color. Uh, and they're, the really key part of it, though, is the connectivity. It's got 12 gig SDI. So you can see they're connected here to a red, I believe that's an epic weapon camera, an 8K camera, so, but this is new. These have been out for a few years now, so they're actually at a price point which is incredible. I think they're 1,799 euros now, which is really, really good for what you get with that. They're a true on-set reference monitor. But here, if you need something a little bit smaller, but still has a lot of that capability, we've got the new PA16 USV, which is a 16 inch essentially version of this. It doesn't have the built-in self calibration tool, but it's a really nice, small, portable, rugged um, reference monitor that you can take anywhere with you. Now, follow me, there's lots of people here, so I've got to walk around some people. Let's walk and talk, Chris. So, first, first of all here, we've got the AI performance setup. So Asus have teamed up with NVIDIA and you can go here and there's an interactive element where you can have your picture taken and they use generative AI to turn you into a superhero uh, with lots of different kind of references beyond that. Um, behind it, you've got the new uh, ProArt chassis, which is a new wooden chassis. And inside you can see the, um, I'll show you the uh, graphics cards in, you know, a bit closer up in a minute, but you've got the ProArt motherboard, you've got um, Asus ProArt cooling system, as well as their own RTX 4070 graphics card. So, which is super quiet, really, really fast, and really helps with these AI driven projects. So come with me here around the corner and you've got a bit more of that with the, the partner Scan, who are a fantastic um, reseller in the north of England, are doing lots of interactive demos for people who want to experience more about how AI is being used in video content creation. And so you've got these really big PCs with the setups I was talking about earlier. We call those powered by Asus workstations. Um, so you can configure them however you want, but the components inside are created by Asus, who are known for being a components manufacturer. If you want something in a bit of a smaller form factor, we've got their mini PCs and Nooks. <laughs> we've just used this model here, the uh, Nook 14 Performance, on a big project that I'm going to be talking about in New York to power a 4D volumetric studio. Inside, it's got an Intel Core uh, 9 processor, it's got an um, uh, uh, NVIDIA RTX 4070 graphics card, it's got MPU performance to, for enhanced generative AI and machine learning workflows, and it's got, you can have five 4K outputs from it, and this is, look at the form factor, it's really small, you can, this is so portable, you can carry it anywhere. So there's a lot of power going into that. Here, these are the mini PCs. We see these a lot now with studios that have um, work, people doing remote work. You can have a mini PC at home, which is connected to a server in a head office or a big virtual, uh, virtual uh, VFX organization or a post house. This allows people to be a bit more portable. And with that, you've got the one of the Asus ProArt displays. This is one of their um, 27 inch displays. It's a 4K HDR display, the PA279 CRV. This is a mature product. It's been around for about a year. And I know they sell a lot of these, right? This is a price point which is really, really affordable. Um, and it's got the same color science and color accuracy that you'll see with some of the bigger models over there, which we'll get to in just a moment. But before we do, because these are new, like really new. It's so the first time anybody's seen these in Europe. This is a new family of Asus ProArt laptops. These are the P-Series laptops. These were launched at Computex in Taiwan just a few months ago, and it's so the first time people can see these in person. These are their advanced AI laptops, so they're driven for creators. Now, we're actually using this one. This is the ProArt P16, and the guy filming me right now will be editing me using this laptop. And look, you're gonna see a lot more of that. We'll do a deep dive into it, but just off the top, you know, just off the cuff here, he, immediately he was seeing a 5X performance enhancement in terms of rendering, uh, ingesting, just the general performance. It's lightning, lightning fast. And it's cool as well, it's really nice, it feels nice, it's smooth. 
it's got the Asus dial trackpad, so if you use Adobe Premiere Pro, you want frame accurate scrubbing, you can use that. It's a really, really nice piece of kit, and it's a touchscreen as well, so it's really nice touchscreen OLED um, display, so which they all have. But look, the thing most people are here to see, people are looking at, it's always really, really busy, is the displays here. So before we get there, because it's quite busy, we'll just start over here. Asus, I mentioned before, they're known for being a components manufacturer. So these, this is what you know, these PCs are built around, the motherboards, especially the ProArt Creator Wi-Fi motherboards. This, this is something we see being configured into a lot of PC solutions, both in higher education and post-production and in studios and networks. Here's a closer look at that graphics card, the ProArt GeForce RTX. This is the 4080 Super. It's a two and a half bay uh, graphics card, so it's not too big, not too chunky. Really quiet, really fast, and obviously made in partnership with NVIDIA. Um, again, these are, Asus are doing a lot of solutions for people that are working remotely right now and businesses that need to attract uh, really good creative talent anywhere in the world. And for that, you need really good Wi-Fi. And I want to make a point of this because I've got this at home, right? I've, I bought this myself. Not this version, it's too new. But this is the um, expert Wi-Fi series. So I've got, a, I've got a bunch of access points at home which enable me to work really, really fast with like high resolution video remotely. So these are fantastic. But um, we do the monitors now. Come on, Chris, let's end up with the monitors. So here we have the 8K HDR monitor. This was launched at NAB this year. It's been output from a DaVinci Resolve project on the PA32 UCRK next to it, which isn't an 8K monitor, but it's a really good 4K mini LED display. As we move further down, this monitor was, has been, so these two monitors here, I want to show you this side by side, because you can see the difference between OLED, which is the PA32DC, something which, if you want to have that really great high contrast, what is HDR? It's really black, black, it's really white, white. That's what you're going to see with an OLED monitor. This monitor here, the PA32UCXR, for this, you're getting brightness. It's 1600 nit peak brightness, very important. Sustained brightness is 1000 nits, and it's true 10 bit color. Both of them have this built in colorometer. It's here with the UCXR, and it's at the top here with the PA32DC. You see this in a lot of ASUS monitors now. That allows you to choose what color space you want to work in and, and calibrate automatically. So you choose your color space. The motorized colorometer in this case comes down. And if you want to work in sRGB, great. It'll, it'll calibrate for that for you in seconds, not minutes. It's really cool and it's really, really helpful if you work on different projects in different color spaces. Finally, this is a new product here, the PA32DCEK. This is another OLED panel. We're seeing more OLED panels. This was the first one, the PA32DC, but now we're seeing a lot more. So this is a really good 27-inch solution for that. Um, but I wanted to save this for last. This is, this is incredible, right? Um, I've got a bit of a reveal for you in a moment, but <clears throat> this has won our Best in Show Award. Now, I can, go over, I can talk to you about the spec, right? It's a QD OLED display. The refresh rate's incredible, 240 hertz. I've not actually seen a monitor with a refresh rate that high. We've worked with monitors at 120 hertz before, which is really helpful when we work with Unreal Engine projects, but 240 hertz is really helpful. But the QD OLED display, it's really bright, really sharp, and it really is true black. It's an HDR 400 true black display. So it's got all of these, and it's a, it's a thousand nits, so it's incredibly bright. But a really, really key thing with this, right? Just to, you know, frankly, this is important, right? How much does it cost? Typically, to, for a display like this, you're looking at 10,000 bucks, right? That's how much something like this would cost. But this, 1,799. That's a really, that's an amazing price for a product like this. So, look, I hope this is giving you a nice kind of feel for what it's like here at the booth. It's busy, it's exciting. There's lots of really cool new products here. I think we've got five new monitors Asus are displaying here this year, so that's a lot. Um, so, look, thank you very much for the Asus team for showing us these projects, giving us a bit of an insight into what they are, what features they have, and, um, and hopefully give me a little bit of a taste of IBC back home wherever you are. So thanks, and um, we'll see you next time.